From the day it opened in 1965, the Astrodome helped define Houston as an international city. Uh, in the years from 19, the 1970s and 1980s, traveling uh, in my role as a sports columnist and author, I went to cities such as Paris, Munich, and London, and Johannesburg. And wherever I went, cab drivers and hotel clerks would say, when they found out I was from Houston, they'd say, oh yes, the Astrodome. I've never heard anybody anywhere, anytime, ever say, oh, Houston, the Reliant Stadium. Uh, and no disrespect to the uh, Reliant Stadium. It's a three-quarter billion dollar stadium and one of the greatest in the world, but it wasn't a breakthrough landmark facility as the Astro was. The idea, the, the very concept of demolishing the Astrodome is almost unconscionable and economically outrageous. Uh, it's still uh, worth a, a priceless value today as the first dome stadium, multi-purpose indoor air-conditioned stadium in the world. And if you're going to think about tearing it down, you might as well tear down something like the pyramids, which could make great parking spaces all over Egypt. Otherwise, it just sits there. Uh, as part of the uh, World Sports uh, Center, uh, my affiliation is with the nonprofit component, which is the Global Sports Institute. We believe that there's still great value and great usage in the Astrodome uh, for a number of between 10 and 15 uh, world-class sports museums locally, statewide and nationally and internationally to, to occupy the Astrodome and attract tourists, uh, create jobs, create earned internships, even to have a foundation that would work with major universities in the city and the state to create even advanced degrees for coaches in various sports. Uh, it not only would uh, reestablish the Astrodome as the unique and innovative architectural wonder that it once was, but uh, it would expo not demolish, not diminish or lessen the uh, value of the Reliant Stadium, but would actually make it more accessible to more people. Uh, what we forget about the Astrodome is that it was never just a stadium. It created limited, unlimited boundaries in, in the architectural world. It gave Buckminster Fuller a, pla a place to have not just a laboratory, but a real-time, real-life uh, exhibit for his geodesic dome, which changed architecture around the world. And uh, the, the marvels of the Astrodome go beyond any of the sports that are played there. I remember when the, the first day that Judge Roy Hoffines unveiled his mock-up, his model of the, of the sports, of the Dome Sports Stadium, and uh, it cost forty thousand dollars in the 1960s to build this model that was so detailed that it even contained miniature toilets in the restrooms that actually flushed, and people paid money to see the, to tour the Astrodome when it was empty. The ball clubs were on the road or no dates were scheduled. People would buy tickets to see the stadium without anything going on. I don't know of another stadium in the world where that happens. Uh, we need to continue the history of that stadium and we need to restore the greatness of it, the wonder of it by, by redesigning it, uh, redefining it with museums, a multi-purpose entertainment complex, um, other amenities, and perhaps even a boutique hotel. Uh, the possibilities are unlimited. And one thing for certain, if you dishonor the past, you are certainly going to limit the future.